As a full-time slow traveler, the concept of the Flaneur has changed my life. Join us as we explore a brand new city and discover this extraordinary way of living. Have you ever been walking down the street lost in thought and boom, a great idea just comes to you? This is the exact experience that a flaneur is seeking out. A flaneur is a French term for a deliberately aimless stroller who walks the city streets in order to experience them. And in fact, some of the best thinkers from history you could consider flaneurs. Darwin, Beethoven, Einstein, Kant, Wolf, Nietzsche, Thoreau, Dickens, the list goes on. All daily walkers. They would go out, gather inspiration, and come back to document and create. Whether you're in a new city like us today, or even in your own neighborhood, as long as you wander and just let your curiosity guide you, you're a flaneur. So that's the idea for today. We've just arrived in Belgrade, Serbia. It's a super walkable city, so we're just going to go spend the day exploring it on foot with no set plans. In my experience, there's no better way to discover a new city. So we're spending, so we're spending the month the here month in Belgrade. Belgrade. Let's, Let's go properly, properly explore, explore the city. The city. One thing I like about Serbia, go to any park in the middle of a weekday, just like right now, and there are flaneurs just sitting, observing, enjoying their free time. Every part of the park. Our sense of time today, it's gonna be that right there, the sun. It gets dark super early here right now. I feel like there's so much to explore here, all these hidden alleyways and gateways that I wanna go in. That building looks like it has a history. I kinda wanna go. Explore that. Hotel Balkan. Beautiful. That looks like the perfect spot to go grab a coffee later on. 1860 you can make out there. the market. Where are we going? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. Years. Now we have a big collection of uh, very uh, expensive uh, Serbian artists. This is uh, Steva Todorovic. This little picture mm -hmm. is Ljuba Popovic. The name is uh, Harmonium. This is uh, a clock, it's, it's uh, Vienna. 
It is famous a Serbian painter, uh, George Trutukovic. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Have a great day. So we were just walking down the street and saw that super interesting looking store. Just goes to show you never know. Just go in, strike up a conversation. This guy taught us all about history, a bunch of famous Serbian painters. And his story itself was really interesting. Just an overall really nice guy. I'm not sure if you can see that. Time is on our side. Definitely is when you wander around like this. Time isn't even an issue. Oh, we stumbled upon a little park here. Never gone wrong. Going to explore green areas of a city. Let's go check it out. Let's keep coming back to this, but it's one of the things I noticed here. It's any time of day. It's a middle of the day on a Monday. People of all ages just sitting and enjoying life in the park. So now we've stumbled upon the main walking road, which we've already been to. So the purpose of today is getting lost. We're gonna take the first detour that looks interesting. Belgrade is the perfect walking city. It's the perfect city to be a flaneur in. Feels like it's almost sunset. It's like 3 p.m. Tastes like Christmas. I've been loving Belgrade so far. There's a few things I really like about it. One is the walkability. Second thing is all the historical buildings. Obviously they date back many, many years. Most of them are untouched. The fact that they're not painted over or touched just adds this element of charm and mystery to the whole city. And there's graffiti. This makes you want to explore all of the streets. <laughs> the tourist is the person with the camera around their neck taking photos as they travel stuck in their camera but missing the true essence of where they are everything's pre-planned there's no randomness there's no serendipity following a strict itinerary and just checking off famous landmarks from a list whereas a flaneur Nothing is pre-planned, it's all serendipitous. They're letting their curiosity guide them. And in the process, they stumble upon the best discovery, the best opportunity. They're the ones who don't have anything pre-planned. They're figuring it out as they go. New information comes in, they might change their route. For a tourist, the most interesting thing is the iconic statue or the landmark in the city. But for a flaneur, the park where the men play chess, argue over politics is much more fascinating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Belgrade has incredible sunsets. I love just walking around and exploring, but the highlight was meeting that nice man in the shop. An experience like that, super authentic, always makes my day. I've been traveling the world full time since 2017. If there's one thing I've learned, it's the power of embracing the unknown and the freedom that brings you. Looking back, so many of my best opportunities, my best connections, my best memories, my best relationships <laughs> have all come as a result of spontaneity or serendipity. I still remember my first trip in 2010. It was the first time I finally got away. I'd been working, teaching for a year, got a chance to explore Southeast Asia, and I think I saw seven countries in 11 days. I was burnt out, the travels were not fulfilling. I learned the hard way that slow travel is where it's at. So that's what we've been doing. We've been taking our time. We've been spending at least a month in each place. 
and that way you get to discover the heart of a city. You really learn to uncover all the hidden gems that a city has to offer, and you learn so much more in the process. And for us, that's what today's been about. Pure exploration, freedom to explore, freedom to learn, freedom to get lost, really, and that's what we did. I think we were successful, we met some cool people. I'd say it's been a pretty good day. That's what I liked about our day today. It's not only about walking, it's a, an approach to life. It's a rebellion. It's a way of giving up control. It's a way of embracing uncertainty. Here's a hint at what's next.